So we're back with the new episode of the Fancy Lad Podcast, Season 2, Episode 2. Yeah, that's the one right after 1, and uh, I think 2 episodes before 4, if I'm not mistaken. 4, 2, 0 is mm-hmm. what I like to arrange my numbers in. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a good combo. Speaking of, we got a very special guest. You, know, you remember from the mom cast... Nancy Murray, Big's mom, uh, Nancy Murray. Hi. Hi, I'm here tonight. (laughs) Nice to see you. I can't see you, but nice to be here. She's lying. She she has cameras in all of your homes. And as and of course myself, Nick Big Murray, Nancy's son. And 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 what? Me? Tom. Yes. Tom Tweak. No relation. Mm Mm-hmm. Thomas J. Calvert, they call him. Who calls me that? Mainly Spotify. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's my DJ name. And I know you're wondering why do we have the mom back for such a, you know, just right after we have a mom cast, we take two years off, Mm -hmm. we come back for second episode with special guest mom again. Yeah. I mean. Well, because she's here for a very special, uh, recap of the X Games. And we just love our moms, so... Well, that goes without saying. Why wouldn't you want to spend as much time with them as you could? Yeah. Yeah, but if you watch the X Games, you know, I'm not an expert on this, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was really awesome, but if I pronounce some of the names wrong, it's because I just don't know them all. Yeah, and you know, I didn't watch a second of the X Games, I'm going to admit that, and I was getting recaps from you via text message. Right. And um, I was texting all the names. I was um, loving every second of it. And I, I have to tell you, one of the people I remember the most was Houston, and you might remember, you, you might pronounce his first name correctly. Nija? Nija. Uh, Nija. Uh, Nija. Nija. So he came in second place. Yep. And, um, well, the first X Games I, I watched, he came in second place. And um, I don't know why, but he really impressed me. He was an awesome skater. Because he's pretty good. You know, I thought he was Probably awesome. Probably because he's a pretty good skater. Yeah, he's pretty good. That's, so that's a valid uh, observation that he's impressive. Well, there's another one, too. Um, oh. Oliveira. Oh, Luan. Beyond Luan. Belief. Great yeah. skater. Oh, fantastic. I mean, such a great skater. Luan Oliveria. Okay, Oliveira. I'm probably saying that wrong. He used to skate no, for Flip, right? right? Yeah, he's, I think he still skates for Flip. I yeah, he probably it. does. Yeah, I think he's I one of the... I remember Flip boards from when you were You remember little. Flip skating. Yeah, it's I not do. the same anymore. Oh, oh yeah. is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 good. Good. They got a good team, oh. but yeah. But I, I have to divert just for a second, because I was watching your podcast from New York City, mm-hmm. and you were talking about Regular the listening. boards, you were talking about the boards that don't never break. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And the only one I could think of was Bulletproof. Bulletproof? Was, which Todd had ordered Was that one. the one? I always thought Todd had a lip tech, but I remember Todd having one of the... I think it was fiber, Bulletproof. I could be wrong. Fiberglass? But Todd had one, and they said it would never break. And the first trick he did, the board broke. That's my brother, Todd, for people listening Who to Who lives podcast. in New York City. Ah. Yeah. Oh, my oh. God. You don't think he stole the camera, do you? Oh, my God. Oh, that was Let's classic Todd. Classic, classic Todd. Todd. Todd would never. Are oh you my kidding God. me? Ever. Yeah, right. If he ever. saw that van. If he saw First the van, he would pop the lock yep. right in. Mm-hmm. He would steal not only my bag, First but Milk Snake's bag. bag. Todd would never even think of such a thing. I think, think of such a thing. I think Todd thinks a lot more things than, than you, you would ever expect. Imagine. Hey, the listen. things that Todd's thinking right now would blow well, your mind. I have to tell you, Todd was my wild child, but he put me through a lot. He was my total wild child. Oh, boy. But he would never do that. He would never. Never in a million years. So what was years. so wild about him? Todd was wild. I like mean, what? 
Well, Ace, I always tell my kids if in high school, if you drink too much, just mm -hmm. call me on the phone because I don't want you drinking and driving. I'll right. come pick you up. So one day, here it comes Todd on Route 1, 2 a.m., walking in as, I hate the word wife beater, but they just call them shirts that. The wife beater, yeah. Yeah. They still and do. And he's walking, I know I hate that word, mm -hmm. but he would be walking on Route 1, and there I was, driving to pick up Todd, but Todd was the party person. Yeah. Party person growing up. What I think was more wild was when he ate that stick of butter when he was like five. Ew. I don't remember that. Oh, <laughs> my, no, there's... Okay. I do remember. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you forget something like that? I like your your I son consuming that. an entire stick of butter. Well, now butter. you're talking like to Like biting into a, like a candy a bar. Like butter, <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> you just get, you're just always getting upset just thinking about yeah, it. Just thinking about it makes me <laughs> sick. All right, back to the back extreme to games. Back to the extreme games. That's what the X Games stands for. Wait, so I want to bring it back to Todd real quick. Okay, real quick. Real quick. He's the wild child. He is the wild child. What... If that, that's your defense, that he wouldn't ever break into Big's van because he's a, a wild? He was a party kid. What if he's, he's a, a party, party man kid. now? And his kind party of party man now. Like he uh -huh. Now he gets his kicks anyone and breaking into vans and stealing stuff. No, he would never. Mm. No. Ooh, yeah. Never. Mother knows best. Yep. Never. It's actually father's knows best. But oh, well. <laughs> no, the show. Oh. You're too young to know the show. I don't, I, yeah, I don't. Father's knows best. <laughs> You're too young. But anyway, so the, the skater that got the bronze medal, you probably know, was Sora Shirai. He was the youngest skater. Yeah, we don't now know. Now that one. Youngest the, skater. Yes. Was so awesome. We don't know 17, about the bronze medal. 17 or something, right? Strictly contest I think skaters. Younger, you know? I know, but if His you watch it. His first X Games, too. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And he got the bronze medal. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty impressive. And the person in first place was... I am I saying it right? Horigami. Oh, Horigome. Yeah. Horigome. He you, was in first place. Yeah, Yuto. Is that what his first name is? Yeah, it's Yuto. I didn't get his first name. I just know he got the gold medal. What did you think? And of him? it was his first gold medal. Was it? Yeah, that's what they oh, said. Oh, at the X Games. At, at the, the X, X Games, Games. Okay. it was his first gold medal. I what? thought he was really good. He is really good. Yeah, I mean a lot of these people they kind of did little falls but then they got up and then their second and third run was almost flawless so that's why their scores were so high it's yeah, pretty impressive to see that those people do they're very consistent that many things yeah that consistently just like i thought everything they did was a challenge i mean to me let's just say they are athletes these people absolutely oh absolutely and then all those people attending there mm. i mean here's my thing that i wish had happened though or in the future would happen. I would love to see fancy lad boards mm. be sold to the extreme skaters. You see, yeah. what I would like to see because is them just throwing fancy lad boards into the course as these top pros are skating. Yep. Why, for them to get it? Uh, a fancy lad board? No, just no? as a distraction. a distraction. Yeah, so they could kind of, you know. Why would you want to uh, distract these skaters, though? They're... They're because to get it's a medal. too easy for them. Yeah, I and on top of that, I think it'd be Some nice if they would let. Some of it really, really difficult. Oh yeah, but not for them. I think they should let us into the course beforehand. Mm -hmm. We can lay down a few booby traps. Yep. Maybe some trip wires well, at the I top of the ramp. Some slick oil on First the ground. Of all, I mm -hmm. think you guys should all attend sticks. at least one of them, and just come with boards, and you know, just give out fancy lead. No, you can't give them away, but I mean, a few. Yeah. And just, but it would be nice if you could sell the boards to those extreme skaters, so that when you're seeing them skate, you see the fancy lead boards because they flip them around so many times. Oh yeah, and they, and always, they, have, they always have them. fresh product, and they always know, stand so with the them, graphics. and you see the graphics and everything. And the logo's always on the bottom of the board. Right, but the, they stand with them after. Oh the yeah, boards oh, yeah. upright to show. Yeah. So it would be really nice to see fancy lead boards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, just an idea. Oh, well, we need to get one of our riders entered in the X Games. That's right. So can yeah. you talk to somebody well, about that? Well, how about Matt, who you say is the best skater in, in Boston, New England. Massachusetts? Yeah. yeah, and that's only because he's only currently here. You put him in any state. So why boom, can't we try there. to get Matt into the? Trying to get Matt to do anything is uh, pretty difficult. 
No, no. You know, it's all politics. You know, it's True. all just. Well, I don't how, really know how, how the system works. Get... I don't know. I've never known how right, the system so works. That's how I've had to cheat this. it the whole time. Yeah. We're gonna have to investigate this. See if Matt can do it, and and then sponsor Fancy Way. What about Orange Man? Well, maybe he could do it too. There's yeah. got to be someone out there listening that works, at, like you know, in the top offices at X Games. Right. That will hear And maybe this. you could like send a send something out to Fancy Lad to tell us like how can Fancy Lad get involved? I mean, their boards be in there. Right. I mean, how could it hurt? You know, entering Orange Man into the X Games. It's just one year. I would so love for one to year, right. you know, you have a bunch of athletes, and then you have Orange Man who manages to get a negative point for the mm-hmm. first time in the X Games history. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Making skateboard history yet again. They have to make an all-new metal made of melted crayons for him. Yeah, which some people call crayons. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Oh, well, it clearly says on at the end of cray. Yeah, so, that's what uh, I'm trying to yeah, say. Crayon. On. Oh my what gosh. do you say? I say crayon. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, you're know, agreeing <laughs> with us. I don't, I don't. So I guess I'm agreeing with you. I don't pause between but I don't, cray and but the But you were, you were saying cray like cray cray. So, right, right, you know, right. It just right. reminded me of cray. Well, and I always thought that's why they were called crayons, because they're cray cray. Okay, I don't know. You know? I but mean, they have 64 colors ever in since one box. I was five years okay. old, but I always said that. They have incredibly um, very complex colors now. Oh, that, yeah. Like apricot mm. and periwinkle. But, mm-hmm. but in our day, you know, they were just primary and colors. And I thought it was periwinkle. And poopy brown. Oh, poopy brown. That is a good one. Yeah. Although it's weird, and I don't know how they do it, but you draw a line and it's brown, 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 and then all of a sudden there's just a little speck of like yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you keep oh drawing brown, God. brown, another speck of yellow just uh, off to the side. It's genius. Uh, I don't remember eating corn. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just coloring in. Oh, my gosh. Corn just reminds me of that horror movie. Children of? Uh, oh, my God. Children of the? That is the only movie that, I, I mean, I was sick over for, mm-hmm. like, months and months. <laughs> yeah, Children of the Corn. I get it. Sick. Like the, like the sickle. Yeah, I'm sick. You're, no. you're pretty witty over there. He's a wordsmith over here. So what do you think of, this is the last name from the men's, what do you think of Deshaun Jordan? Uh, I thought he was, I thought he was great. Yeah. Uh, he didn't win anything. No, he didn't win anything. But I was, it, he was one of the people that I was hoping would get, like, bump some of those yeah. other people mm-hmm. out of the top. Yeah. My only thing is I don't know how long some of these skaters have been skating. Mm-hmm. Some of them, they said they were veterans, and some of them, you know, really young, but I don't know how long in the skateboard world he has been in. You might know. In the Do you know what I mean in the right. industry? Right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. long has he, uh, how many, um, like, extreme games has he participated in? I don't know that information. I'm not sure about that. He's definitely something that I, someone I'm more familiar with than uh, whoever came in third place. I can't even remember their name anymore. And then... This guy reminded yeah. me of Dice K on the Red Sox because because his name was because his name is Dice K. Yeah. I, yeah, I saw that as <laughs> when like, we Ooh. the horrible guy we got and paid a hundred thousand or a hundred whatever four hundred million, wow. and um, and then he 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 was a great baseball player in Japan, but he couldn't play in America, mm. so we got deep. But Dice K, not the first time we've gotten deep. Akita, um, I think is the last yeah, name. Yeah, Akita. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. know. I know. Okay, well, he was in there too. One of them that was unable to get back in was Kevin Hoffler. I don't know why he fell. Why did he leave? I think he fell and he wasn't Uh, able to get back in. I don't know. Jagger was really interesting to watch. Jagger Hmm. Eaton, he um, got everything on his first run, but he was really a fascinating skater. I don't know of all the skaters I was watching, he was interesting. He was doing um, some creative stuff. Yeah, very creative. Now, I don't know if you want to mention anything else about the men's, because I'm going to go into the women's. Well, I'd so like to ask, what, what did you think about the uh, overall appearance of the men in the in it? Just their, their kits, their get-ups? Their fashion? Their fashion. fashion? Yeah, what did you think of their fashion? I thought it was pretty awesome. Yeah? It's good yeah. fashion. I thought Not it was bad. really good, but I like the women's fashion better. Oh, that's... Um, because a lot of the women's, um, they had, like, I don't know, really like loose fancy tops and mm-hmm. they had some of them had like these really interesting different pants and um, one of the 
people. Uh, I I know her name. Part of her name is Kim, but um, she's she's uh, got a gold medal in um, skiing, mm -hmm. and she was in the audience. Um, she's like one of the top top skiers. And uh, now I can't. She's um, I can't. I can't think of her first name, but I know Kim is part of her name. Hmm. Um, because they they came up and talked to her and said that it was like an honor to have her in the audience. Um, and she got several gold medals. In the Olympics or? In the Olympics. Okay, work. Yeah, in the Olympics. But Impressive. I don't know, switching to women, do you yeah, go, have yeah. a favorite woman skater? Well, I'll, okay. I'll leave that till the end. Right. I want to keep that a secret, you know? Yeah. I don't want you to. I don't want you to be like, "Well, this is Tom's favorite, so now I have to say really oh, sweet things goodness. about her." Yeah, it's true. All right. Well, they had a lot of really young skaters. Yeah. And um, one of them that I thought was really good. She was only fourteen. She came in fourth place. It was Poe Pinson. She was awesome. Is she your favorite? No, no, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You no, got that little look no, on your face, no. like. Because it says here that she's only fourteen. She's age fourteen. <laughs> so. <coughs> I think she might be your favorite, but no, there was someone younger, 11 years old. Oh, now new favorite. I think her name is pronounced Hayisa Lael, L-A-E-L, Lael. Oh, Lael, like Lael. Yeah, hmm. she was only 11, and she was really incredible. And she was the one that um, Tony Hawk said he loved, mm -hmm. and she's like an upcoming skater, and she tries everything, and she's so fast but but her, she's concise and you see her coming down the rail and she's like perfect almost perfect yeah she's only 11 years old she has no fear in it, her absolutely no fear mm. she was she was so interesting to watch why do you think we have a lot of fear in us i don't know i well because i was watching some of the 30 year olds mm -hmm. that were veterans it's not like they had fear but they were falling so much more than the 11 year olds and I think it's because the 11 year olds, it's all new to them. And I'm gonna get you on who your favorite is. I, I'm not sure, but I, I'm dying to know. It's a fun <laughs> game to guess. All right, so there's a, the there's a 12 year old who's newer and she was really good too. I'm um, not sure I'm pronouncing her name right, but Yamika Oda, O-D-A. Mm. Did you watch the women's at all? I watched a bit of it. I, I don't remember you that. I don't seem to remember any of these names for some reason. I remember Poe. You remember Poe, so I'm I'm beginning to I think, think that's she's just a, I think that's just a good name. I know she fell, um, she fell like on the second time around, and um, but she was so good. Candy Jacobs, do you remember her? She was trying to flip into a fifty fifty, and excuse me, I don't know what a fifty fifty is. So. Well, that's impressive. But she was that trying to do that flip into fifty fifty. See, it's when you flip your board, and she actually fell twice. The 50-50 grind is when both trucks are grinding okay. on the ledge or rail yeah. because, you know, 50% 50, 50 of each truck. Okay. You got the 50 on the one truck, you got the 50 on the other truck. Well, I the, the people watching were pretty impressed with it. And, you know, is it something that either of you can do? I'm just curious. I'm I mean, a curb. I, I could do it on a ledge. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I could do it on a ledge. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So there you go. I mean, I could probably do it on a ledge a little taller than Tom. I'd really doubt that. I mean, pff, I'm thinking at least an inch taller. No way. Maybe, he's six, maybe, he's maybe six quarter. five, and you can't reach your light. So how? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but how tall are you? <laughs> you told me you couldn't reach your light, and he can reach Nancy, your light. Nancy, that was in confidence. I'm I think Sorry, we how tall are you? Tell that to everyone. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you're not sure. I'm, I'm five. <laughs> I'm, I, I say I'm five eight, but really I'm five eight and three quarters. Okay. But I like to say five eight, so, so people are like, say, "Really? You seem like you're so five just nine. Say, and I go, "Oh, really?" So just say five nine. Yeah. I'd, I'd go with five nine. But yeah, little I wish, guys I wish I had this still can have before more I filled off. out my uh, new <laughs> license application. <laughs> oh my gosh! So um, your favorite, Poe Penson, mm -hmm. <laughs> it came in fourth place. Not bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. And um, I don't know. Explain to me what a nose grind is, because I'm in watching this, being very innocent, and uh, don't know what a nose, what it is. So it's like, you know, so like 50-50, both trucks on the on the rail or ledge, yeah. a nose grind, you're balancing on the front truck. Oh, okay. So, so is that when they're coming down the rail? 
Because yeah. they all had to come down a rail. I mean, not necessarily. You could do it up a rail or oh, on okay. a ledge. or You could do all it right. on... Because everyone came down a rail, and mm -hmm. some of them were... That, that's where the 11-year-olds were so smooth. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it, it's crazy. Gliding how down that it rail. It's insane yeah, to see someone that small do stuff that, like, be good at something. It's weird to see young kids, like, right. really good One at One of them something. said she started skating, which I believe you started. Nick started skating big. At yeah. um, age seven. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's like age they seven. say, it's like, oh, I started when I was seven, and then right. they're like, oh, yeah, that's a good, you know, nice and to I start off when you're young. It's like I think one of them said they started at five. One of them did. I'm not lying. sure which one, but yeah, she did. It, I remember and one of the 11 year olds saying I think that it was they've, age eight, actually, they've been watching the X Games for years, and I thought you can't be watching it for that many years. You don't even remember right. it, like four right. years ago. Yeah. So one of the older ones, who's 26 years old, was Letitia mm. Buffon. Buffon. And she came in third place. She kept falling a lot. Yeah. And she was very disappointed in herself. But she still had enough score to come in third place. You know? And she oh she was the uh, she was the one with the rolled ankle. Oh wasn't oh, right. wasn't um Gary Rogers there, you said? Gary Rogers was announcing. Because I was gonna oh, say, did okay. he make any jokes about her breast implants? Honestly, leave it to skateboarders to get into breast <laughs> implants. I didn't seriously. I thought you did on Skateline. That's uh, why I was no, asking. No, no. Maybe I'm. Did. Maybe I'm just remembering this wrong. Was okay. Gary, this if you're remembering wrong, hit us up. Day, let us know. Seriously, hit me up and let me know. Little kids and families are watching this. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in their breast. That's implants. true. This isn't the smut. Seriously, on Thrashers. YouTube. All those dads in the stands probably aren't interested at all I in, mean, in breast implants. But. Is this your favorite? Because you're not really telling me. Lacey Baker? Lacey Baker is sick. Actually, you know what? She has a lot going for her. She's in a Just Do It ad. Mm -hmm. And she was in a Miley Cyrus video. Really? Yeah. Which, which video? I don't know, but they announced I guess that we can just she Google did it. a Miley Cyrus video and she was included in it. So she's got a lot going on. Yeah, but she, she I does mean, extra things. Out of all those names, she's probably my favorite, but I consider her the most street skater. Really? Of the bunch, and I'm kind of from the streets. Yeah, and kind of also a skater too. Yeah, Mean yeah, Streets, Norfolk, go. Massachusetts. So Maybe you heard of it? That. I heard of it. <laughs> yeah, That's why I the... opened a skate park because I was afraid that my kids would be killed on Main Street. And put and that I roundabout. Opened a skate park but in that's Norfolk. the thing. I'm from the streets. There you go. You were from the streets. Why are you getting killed in those streets? I remember dealing with so many police in Norfolk because I had to go retrieve your skateboards all the time. <laughs> all the time. It was a different time. Why are they taking stuff away it's from It's just kids? a different time. Yeah. Um, and what is a, what is this? What's a Smith grind? I'm just curious. Does oh, boy. Know what a oh, Smith I grind is? I it was invented right by here. Waylon Smithers. Okay. And one of the things was I actually... There's a Smith grind. See when the Where truck when the oh, when the front when the front truck dips no. under the ledge and you're grinding on the back truck. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And then, I don't know if I was hearing this incorrectly, but it sounded like gnarly, a gnarly flip, or, an, or, or it was it flip? It it's actually sounded like gnarly. The word gnarly. gnarly? Maybe it's a gnarly. Oh, gnarly flip. Gnarly flip. Yeah. Okay. They, they, uh, every single skater did one of those. All right. So in skating, you got the regular stance. Mm -hmm. yep. You got switch, mm -hmm. yep. and you got fakie. Okay. Okay. Gnarly is kind of when you're riding switch fakie. So can you do a gnarly? Of course. Just asking. Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just asking. I can't do a very good gnarly, actually. Just asking. I can't do good gnarly flips. No? Yeah, maybe one out of ten. The other nine will hit I'm better shit. at nollie flips than I am straight nollies. Mm. So now I couldn't get this guy's name, but for some reason they kept mentioning Napoli on the Diaz, guys, though. they kept mentioning Chris, Jocelyn. is it Jocelyn? The last Sorry, name? I'm reading your notes. Josh. Jocelyn. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, but he's a rookie. B. He's a rookie. Huh? And honestly, he had a really harsh upbringing, mm -hmm. and they kept going on about it, and how he had no dad. His dad was shot and killed. Oof. And I, I think it, know I think in front of him. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. His mom um, was not around for him. His grandma actually brought him up, and because of his whole background mm -hmm. and how successful he is, I always love the underdog. So, oh yeah. Um, like Ringo. I didn't like Ringo. Is he an underdog? 
Yeah, I'd say out of the out of the four of them. Out really? of the four of them, it might be the black sheep. The odd really? man out. Yeah. Oh, so I still like pretty talented. Oh yeah, for sure. And he's a great drummer. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Best in Liverpool. I mean, I don't even know a better drummer than Ringo. You could probably come up with a musician that's better, but Ringo is from my generation. Uh, too. yeah. How about Neil Peart? I say I don't know who that is. It's from a little band called Rush. Uh, oh, greatest I've heard band of, Rush. of all time. I've Maybe heard of you've Rush. heard of them. I've heard of Rush, but um, I'm devoted to Ringo, so. <laughs> As you should be. As a great drummer. Ah, oh, he's fantastic. I know, and oh, and then in the men's, Houston came back and won the gold. Switching back to the men's, he yes. won the gold. Oh, for so, best trick, right? Yes. I did hear that. So that was pretty fantastic. Um, let's see, who else did we not talk about? I don't know. Do, do you remember any other um, drummers? It's tough. Not drummers, skateboarders. Uh, yeah. Lars Ulrich, yeah. greatest drummer of all time. Well, there was Steve one. West. There was a, a girl that came in third place, Mariah Duran. Mariah, Durand. Mariah Durand. Durand. She's 22 years old. She had a mm. score of 88.33, and she, in the past, had three, three medals. She won three medals. I don't know if they were all gold, mm. but she came in third place on the women's. That's great. I don't know if you know her, um, but. Nishimura, she um, had also three medals, and she had the highest score. She came in first place. She had a 92 you score. You know, these people made a lot of money. Run. A lot you know. of money. They How much money do they win if they come in first place? I'm just curious. That's a good question. I'm not so sure, but... A thousands. Few, few, like, I, like, I'd say five five digits. Really? Yeah. Well, she came in first For place, sure five digits. Yeah, and probably she, like she already had I'm, a gold and a bronze before. I'm thinking five digits and up there. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe thirty-five thousand dollars. You think more than that? I was thinking roughly fifty. Really? Let's go fifty-five. All right. So the last one I can think of, and she's thirty-two years old, oh, okay. one year range. All right, perfect. Um, Alexis Sabloni. We were just talking about her oh, today. Oh, I have her shoes on right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And she Converse brand her, Cons shoes. This yeah, was her sixteenth appearance. Mm-hmm. In the X Games, so um, I don't know. She had a tough first run. She came in tenth place. She's on the uh, U.S. Olympic team for women's skateboarding. That's pretty awesome. I think Lacey Baker is as well, actually. That's pretty awesome. Tom's roommate here used to film her, Dave Corden. Wow. Yeah, she's where's she from? She's from Connecticut. Is she near Boston? Or? Yeah, she was in the she was on the Coliseum team. And she was in the that's pretty the cool. PJ Ladd video yeah. with. Uh, PJ Ladd, I never wrote Bay to PJ Ladd, I really You gotta to write, write to PJ Ladd. But every Ladd. time I look at him up on Google, all I get is this one little, they don't give me a specific address to write to. Yeah. That's a shame. It's weird PJ they don't list Ladd. those things on Google. Why don't they no, list celebrities' addresses Ladd. on Google? I keep wondering. No, but I was able to, not the Talking Heads, but what's the other group that I was able to get into the fan club? Tom Tom Club. No. Mm. Rocking Ramrods? No. <laughs> I love the Rock and Ramrods, though, um, back in my day and age. But no, you know who they are. Um, I used to, their songs would make me cry. Mm-hmm. Mighty Mighty Boss Stones. No, the, you know the Flaming... Lips? Lips. Yeah. Flaming Lips, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got into their fan club, and it was just by an address. Y- so yeah. why can't you ha- get in touch with PJ Ladd? I don't understand it. That's a good question. I don't yeah. understand how you can't just get in touch with him. Yeah, I'd say we should hit him up and ask, but we haven't been able to locate him. Does he does he actually um, skate on fancy lead boards? No, he skates for Plan B still. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, we would love to sponsor PJ Ladd strictly because the name would f- line up. Yeah. For marketing purposes. Yeah. Fancy Ladd, PJ. Right. Lad, right? Okay, but so, also, go what? ahead. But also, PJ Lad goes back to Nick's days in Boston when he was a young skater, and I remember PJ Lad because he used to skate with PJ Lad. So, if you're out there listening, PJ Lad, please shout a, shout something out to Fancy Lad at the windowsill ledges. Please get back to Fancy Lad, okay? Yeah, we need we we need you to return our and we our need to know calls. where you are. We're concerned. It's been we haven't heard from you in a while, and it's. The street lights are on. We need you to contact us. Yeah, you said you were just going to leave and pick up some milk and bread. And that was five years ago. Come on, PJ. It's up to you to respond. 
So I'm going to have to go and say I think Peter Chris is probably... Peter Chris? Mm-hmm. The greatest drummer of all time. Catman. Okay. And he is from? The Catman himself. He's from uh, a little popular band all you right, might so be familiar Cat with Man called to me is A Cat Kiss. Stevens. <laughs> so... That's who I think of, Cat Stevens. Yeah. We're not we're not talking about any artists on the no flies list right now. So where um where is this band? What is the name of the band? Kiss? Kiss. Oh Kiss. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, of course they're not Kiss. Yeah. He's not in Kiss anymore because uh, But he used to be. Apparently he's So you he's think he was a better shit. drummer than Ringo? Star? Oh. No. <laughs> There you go. Maybe. So we still know. haven't come up with a better drum, drummer than Ringo. So. And we never Definitely will. not a more likable drummer. I mean, we never will. Okay. guitarists you can compare, like, Jimi Hendrix, uh -huh. Eric Clapton, uh -huh. and, you know, Paul McCartney. I uh -huh. mean, I put him in that group. Um, you can compare those guitarists as really fantastic guitarists. Yeah. Paul McCartney, one of the most famous guitarists of yeah, all time. Yeah, six string guitarists. Bass we call guitarists. Them the electric. Oh, oh, it. oh, Bass it, oh we thought we were going to pull a fast Damn one it. over. Bass guitarists. <laughs> because why? He was also left handed. And he, and he played guitar really well. well. Everyone knows oh, if you're left handed, like Jimi Hendrix, yeah. Yeah. you're better at guitar. Hey, well, I don't know, but guitar, there's certain but research that they say about left handed people that they're very intelligent. I Ooh. mean, Obama is left handed. There are certain people that are left-handed that are super intelligent. So I don't know. I haven't done enough research. On I'm left-handed. There you go. I'm right-handed. So oh, I'm right-handed. So yeah, I don't yeah know we're that. proving right. This is we're doing science right now. I yeah, know. But. Back to skateboarding, right? Yes. All right. Isn't this? I thought you went over. So you never buddy. revealed your favorite woman skateboarder, and I'm kind of done talking. So, <laughs> well, about skating at least. So who was your? Yeah, she is covered the entire. Is I was I was hoping Alexis would would actually win. Oh okay, and Alexis um, came in tenth place. Yeah, yeah. So we're going with Alexis. So we're going with Alexis. It's not just because you're wearing her Pro Model One Star shoes from Converse brand. Are you brand just? Uh, yeah. Mm. Do you think her, she's a fantastic skater? Um, or yeah. Oh, okay. oh, absolutely. All right. Didn't know if you had a little. Crush, I mean, uh, crush no, on mainly. <laughs> I mean, I don't want. I don't want to say that I do or I don't, you know. Uh, but uh, I mean, she's just been skating for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I've just yeah. known, been in our periphery. Well, it says that it was so her 16th appearance. Our minds and our hearts, really. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's yeah. a that's a long time, and yeah. she's been there 16 times, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I grew up watching her skate, so she's definitely someone that I well, look I, up I to. didn't. I absolutely didn't mention her first place person though. Uh oh. And I think we have to shout out to her last name is. Nishia. She was Japanese, and I absolutely cannot pronounce her first name. Momiji. Momiji, Nishia. Um, but she came in first place, and she was—I believe she was young too. Um, the two top ones were both Japanese and young. Mm. So, and uh, it kind of was irritating to the older ones. Yeah. But. I, mean, I can I, see that's a wide aim. I mean, like, I think they felt too. really bad. And Duran came in third. Do you know Duran? I mean, about I Duran? 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 Oh, is it pronounced Duran? No. <laughs> I'm thinking of Duran Duran, <laughs> the band. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Third place they gave to the yeah, album yeah, Rio for place. some reason. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, Mariah, her first name is Mariah Duran. Mariah Duran. Well, She's thank 22 years old. Well, thanks for this recap for all you listeners out there who did not get a chance to watch the X Games. Yeah, and now you don't need to because you know exactly what happened. Yeah. And honestly, I, I'm going to tell everyone out there, just just watch it. And promote Fancy Lad. Try to get Fancy Lad boards into X Games. Yeah. And we really need to do that. If you could buy the boards yourself and hold them up while the people skate in the audience, I mean, that, that would works be too. totally awesome. You know, like the concerts with all the lights, mm -hmm. with all the fancy lad boards. That On would, fire. That would be fantastic. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be great. Or maybe we can get people to write like an F on one stomach mm -hmm. and oh, A on another fancy lad, like and then they like they all like yeah, right on exactly. the faces. Yeah. 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 Mm. And they all have they, they all have their face done up like Peter Chris or Puff. Yep. You know, whiskers. Oh, there, you go. there we go. Or people who wore black cat masks. Or if they want to do that at a Red Sox game, a they black could do that mask. too. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. And actually kind of scary if you look down to the audience there were just a bunch well, of people guess. wearing black cat masks. 
I guess I think of black cats as near and endearing, but a lot of people are afraid of them, I guess. Tom's I'm afraid, afraid of, of, of people, and people wearing cat masks. You're kind of superstitious. Yeah, oh, you're afraid of masks in general? Or? Yeah, just masks. Oh, okay. So don't wear the masks. Tom's we'll afraid. scare Tom. Tom's we don't afraid, want to scare Tom, okay? But everyone be in the audience with the fancy lead bullets. There you go. We'll go with that. All and right. um, I guess we're going to say good night, unless you guys have something else to contribute. No, is, there, is there anything else you wanted to ask us about the last episode's podcast? The New York City one? Yeah. Well, honestly, for anyone who's watched it, I mean, I thought it was really, or listened to it, I thought it was really great. But honestly, the pizza talk was a little much for 20 minutes. I mean, it was a little much. I mean, all right, I know this, that everyone loves, all the boarders love pizza. We had to edit that down. Yeah, seriously, back to skating. All Back right. to skating. We'll next keep time. it. We'll keep it to a we'll solid go, fifteen yeah. of pizza talk. And for the next, next time, episode. you yeah. know, if you think you should go get that camera in the van, go get the camera. I think Tom would I agree mean, with you on that. Absolutely. I know. If you if you just have to walk down two or three flights of stairs or get on an elevator or whatever you have to do, go get that video camera. I mean, I mean, that, you managed to was, raise a hell of a son. That was a shame that we couldn't get the video camera back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was yet. Yet. Mm-hmm. Someone out there listening so probably if a has fancy, a camera. It, yeah, if a fancy that, lead van out there has the camera and you really feel for fancy lead, please turn it in so we can get it back. And all those tapes, because those are, as Nick said in his Instagram, they're pure gold. So get those tapes back. It's true. That wasn't a lie. Yeah, we need those tapes. All right. Well, thanks again. Keep on listening to Fancy Lead Podcast. Thank you. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, and peace out. Peace out. Pizza? Peace out. Oh, I stop with the pizza. Right. Okay. Peace out. Pizza. I know. Peace. I think you're supposed to drop the microphone. Peace out. I don't know. This is only a fifty dollar microphone. All I don't right. Think it'll last. We're not dropping it. Peace out, all you fancy lad fans. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> I like that you waved to the microphone. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Uh, yeah.